And welcome to Commander at Home, where we hang out with you at our home with our pups and play some games. Yeah. yeah. We are joined by our friends today, as we always are, but you know. These different. specific friends today. Nailed it, <laughs> Nailed Just it. Just let me have my, okay, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> Spencer, it's great to see you. Chris. <laughs> yeah. Shut the hell up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we want to do that over? No! <laughs> I would agree, that was perfectly genuine. We're, do, we're doing it live! <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are! <laughs> What's up, Spencer? Not much. I'm Spencer Crindon. Um, I did uh, a show called Harmon Quest that you might be familiar with, yes. and I was on a podcast called Harmon Town, which was also a movie. And what do you got today for us for a day? Oh, oh yes. A um, very large Riku. I'm bringing big Riku energy. Uh, <laughs> it is extremely large Riku energy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I wanted to play Riku ever since I saw it. This is the first commander deck that I ever made, oh, and oh, nice. uh, that wasn't a pre con. And uh, yeah, I don't like spending a lot of money on cards, so I <laughs> sprung for the big card, which was at the time a lot cheaper. <laughs> so that's that's what I'm rolling with At this today. point, I think that's a collectible. I, I, th I think that those are those are much harder to come by than the mm -hmm. actual typical Ooh, size card. All part of my cunning plan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Investment strategy. I'm impressed. <laughs> From the beard stroke to really sell it. <laughs> yeah. It's all came together. Yeah, the whole thing is beautiful. It's a Riku with the power of two Rikus. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. By, by volume, yeah. at least. Hey, Chris. <laughs> yes, I am Chris Montgomery. I'm a freelance editor. I'm just a, a friend of the two of them through uh, a large game that we play in. Um, I'm a staff member for said game, and uh, it's a good good way to get to know people. And good way to meet other nerds, to play real nerd games. games. It's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the nerd confluence is maybe a little overactive with D&D uh, &D and, and LARPing in particular. I'm playing a Galanra and Kodama partners deck. I was about to deck. say, is this a green I get, value engine with I the win I get two The commander doesn't Although, matter. Although, actually, I think we're playing slightly less ridiculous decks, and so I'm actually going to shuffle Kodama into the deck and only I, go with I, one command. Sure. They're the same colors, and Kodama of the East Tree is a ridiculous magic card. Yeah. So yeah. Kodama we're gonna shuffle is the busted in. tree, actually. He's the, he's the busted, busted tree. So this is a ramp value, a lot of planeswalkers, actually. So okay. we'll try to go a little bit big. I have Goshen Tai of Life's Origin with Umori to keep it spicy. Umori is a companion, and all of the cards have to be enchantments for them to be the case. So here we are. It is basic lands, lands, and enchantments. So everybody's got basically two commanders. Yeah. <laughs> this I mean, is, this is two commanders. probably just chills out and does nothing. Yeah, I, I, sure. I'm a humble I have Rith shrine and I have Oko, so you know, I have a second commander here. <laughs> <laughs> so I am playing Rift the Awakener. This is uh, what I call my Pro Tour deck. This deck is all cards that I have played in a Pro Tour or Grand Prix or similar level competitive event. It's basically to just have a bunch of cool cards that I like and tell stories about them. So that's what we're gonna do. Sweet. Big scary die. Yeah, let's get the big die. Guard your decks. God that is a six. A six. Not good enough. Ooh. Oof. Tough to do. Oh, no, no, it was almost a six. <laughs> we were almost two thirds of the way towards the number of the beast, but. Two. Two. Okay. If high roll is a six. I'm gonna lose my. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing for all of us. 15. 15. <laughs> All right. So you're first. I am first. And let's take it away. I will start with a tapped myriad landscape. And pass the turn to you, Spencer. All right. I will draw. I'll just go with it. Is it Guild Gate and call it a turn? I'll play a Carpaline Gorge because back in Affinity Times, I. Uh, God, is, I, I, is every, no, I'm not going to shut up. Every time I come my card, I'm going to tell a story. <laughs> He's the whole point. It's the I whole guess. point of the day. Yeah. I'm playing a forest, a burgeoning go. <laughs> wow, I didn't get to tell my story. You can keep talking, I'm just not listening. I'm, I'm advancing the game oh. state. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> I was one of those idiots who refused to play Affinity most of the time and tried to kill all their artifacts, and that's why I had Carpaline Gorge next. Nice. <laughs> okay, we're going to go forest. Play a Halitone. A Soaring. 
and we'll just get out the Galandra, I think. That was it's pretty slick. Very fast. Yeah. Well, Solar Ring will do that. Uh, I'll pass the turn. All right. It'll revise Solar Ring. That's when I started playing, just, just before revised. Legends Unlimited revised. What if there's a Solar Ring in there? There's a revised pack and a Legends pack right Ooh. there. Whoa. It's only not, it's, it's an uncommon, so one decent of them was taking you back. One of them was taped it, yeah. to a bag of Doritos. <laughs> That's true. Like, it's actually just accurate. So did you buy the Doritos and that was a bonus? Or you buy no. the pack and the Doritos I beat, bonus? I beat Brian and Brandon Sanderson in a draft game I did not okay. draft. I was called into, and oh, that was, this, was I won the, a bag of Doritos. And, yeah, yes. This is this and playing was Brandon Sanderson's cube, so there's fun stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I was lucky enough to get to play in yeah. the, the, the cube draft with him, and he had a splendid Genesis that he, you know, I was beating him in, in the final game of the draft, and he played splendid Genesis, which restarts the game. For those who know, it's not doesn't, a real magic. It doesn't card. restart the game. It, it, it sort of does because you reshuffle everything. You keep life totals the same. Yeah. But you add a third player to the game and, and shuffle all the cards yeah. together. So, which was uh, Richard Garfield had made that when they were having a child, yeah. right? It was yeah. it was it was the uh, gift they gave people for the birth announcement of his first child. So yes, you add a third player to the game, you shuffle all the cards together, you rejoin together. That Delicious. Was Flavor. And what happened was <laughs> Olivia just killed both of us in one game. <laughs> Having not been in the game to start the game. Thank you. <laughs> well done. So uh, I had, prize, I had my yeah. prize was that their bag of Doritos and uh, attached, affixed to it was a relax <laughs> pack. And I was like, oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> Everyone wanted me to open it and I was too scared and now it's here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it seems like a bit of a flavor fail because babies can't play magic. <laughs> It's like gave her 13 plus. <laughs> I'm gonna just drop another uh, rupture spire here. <laughs> All right. Take that, Richard Garfield. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think you got him. Yeah. A, oh, you're playing land so much. Yeah. Would you stop? That's no. enough. No, it says I don't have to. I know. But, but I will play oh. Savannah. Thanks, honey. We, oh my goodness. <laughs> The turn they, one burgeoning is doing burgeoning, work. Burgeoning is doing a lot of work. Almost every time I see somebody with burgeoning, they've got like one more land. I kept hand. a yeah. six lander burgeoning. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, have I respect. To. Yeah, I it's do. burgeoned. All right, I am done. <laughs> Legally what's, obligated. What's your story for well, Savannah? It, actually, when I when I started building commander decks, I had a bunch of dual lands because they're just, oh just cards that I had from playing in like Legacy Grand Prix. <laughs> um, and this was actually the one that I had four of because I played a lot of green white. Yeah. Shockingly, <gasps> in like every format ever. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> but I can only do one of these. Things. Mary's Guile. Ooh, right, there you go. One of my favorite cards I love ever Mary's in Guile. Magic. Yeah. Mary's Guile is so good. Yeah. I can't do the other thing because I don't have the colors Ooh. for it. I'll just put Umori in my hand to do something, like, just so I can feel something. Straight value. Yeah. You're, you're feeling something now? No, but <laughs> it turns over. Okay, uh, we'll play a Nymphos Shrine Nyx. <laughs> no creatures on the battlefield. So, one, two, three, four. Five, and we're gonna play a Vivian Monsters Advocate. Oh. She's at three to start with. I can look at the top card of my library. Cool. And just so people know, I can cast creature spells if they happen to be on top of my library, and I have mana for them. But we're gonna plus one her and make a uh, three three beast, and we're gonna give it vigilance. I think I will pass the turn. Draw. Let's just play a fire lit thicket and call it a turn. All right, I will draw. I will play Mana Confluence, which was the best dual oh end available my. for green white aggro decks during the period <laughs> where that wasn't standard, and thus I had to play that because there were no good green white dual ends. And I will play Nissa, Bathmus here, which was also <laughs> in set. I like this. <laughs> I like We're gonna go get a basic oh, force, oh. which I have played in basically a For the love of God. God. <laughs> oh, All right, man. I am Mary's Guiling. <laughs> I realize that one of my cards is marked. She's cheating. Look out. Correct. I will play Swamp. That looks a lot That's more a like forest. a forest. I don't know why I said okay. Swamp. Are you, I was gonna say, are you proxying a Swamp? <laughs> <laughs> I should. Just write Swamp I on it? should. I'm looking at Umori's mana cost, which has black in it, so Stop. I'm just- The Golgari hybrid, yeah. <laughs> the same thing. Have you played Swamp in a Pro Tour prior? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have played every basic land type in Pro Tour. Good. Actually, that's not true. I've not played a Wastes. Ooh, oh. thank you. I've never played a Wastes in a Pro Tour. Enchantments. What? No way. I'm guessing the whole deck's enchantments, more or less. Yes. Well, it has to be, because of that. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> it oh, right. it has to be, yes. <laughs> I'm a genius. I figured it out. I solved the puzzle. As long as you got there. Yeah. Okay. Top card's not a creature, so I can't cast it. We're going to minus Vivian. When I cast my next creature this turn, I'm going to search my library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost and put it on the battlefield. Whoa. Dang. Yeah. We're going to activate Nykthos for green. So that's one, two, three, green mana. Yeah. Four, five. And we're gonna cast Cavalier of Thorn. Oh boy. While it's still on the stack, 
I'm gonna be searching for a creature with mana cost four or That's less. Oh boy. Or mana value, I should say. Don't worry too much about this. I'm not getting anything broken. Probably just Tireless Tracker, if I'm being honest. I just love me some Tireless Tracker. Do you also love me He's a tireless. good lad. We'll plop a Tireless Tracker into play. We will finish shuffling and then look at the top five and hopefully it'll land out of those. So we got yeah, so the Apex Devastator Trusted on Reverse and Evolution Charm. We'll hit a basic forest and these will go in the graveyard. That will trigger Tile Tracker. I'll get a clue. There is already a lot going on over there on the board. That is yeah. correct. There's a clue. Humble and shrine tender. That's all I'm doing. Just <laughs> tending them shrines. I'm about to. Okay, we got a 3-3 three, three, uh, Vigilance. You got a 4-5. You got nothing. You got a 2-2. Two, two. Ryan, I'm going to come at you for three damage with a Vigilance. Ow! I'm actually going to go ahead and pay two mana to crack the clue right now. Because if I draw land, I could have checked what was on top. It's not land. Uh, <laughs> that's the turn. I'm real good at magic, y'all. I swear. It. He gets a plus and plus encounter. Your turn. All right. I'm going to play a forest and you fool. play a you fool. peregrination to get two lands nice. into play tapped and uh, basic and then scry one. And that's oh, cool. that's going to be it. Forest there are so many different types of explosive vegetation effects. It's true. Yeah. They keep making them. Yeah. Yeah. I do like me an explosive vegetation. The classic. Like explosive vegetation, which I played in Pro Tour Venice. <laughs> I was, I was excited about the uh, stories earlier. Yeah, <laughs> the, sh the shine is starting to decline, you know? All right, I will. Even Elko's trying to escape. <laughs> he's, he's trying to crawl <laughs> off. Of, he's like, shut up, Dad. You're embarrassing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will play Solemn Simulacrum. Put that on the bottom. Which was from my Pro Tour Huddle Lou 2012 deck. That was, I think, the exact card that was in the deck. Sweet. I do love Solemn Simulacrum. It's a good card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His original design was a blue-green elf, I yep. think. Yeah. yeah. But then they're like, nope, Mirrodin, we're making an artifact. Yeah. <laughs> Which really enhances its playability. Simic did oh, not yeah. need to have more no. things. It's fine. And and since then, they've never printed a good Simic card since. Nope. They, just, not, <laughs> they yep. just said, no, no, right. you've had enough. Are well, you... Nissa is not blocking, so I think she's going to go ahead and attack over here for two. I'll just take that. <laughs> and then I'm done. All right. I will Miri Skyle. So I will tap this planes to abundant growth on Hallowed Fountain. Draw a card. <laughs> I'm really, mm -hmm. which I played in my Pro Tour Arsenal. Nobody asked. <laughs> See, I, I, I didn't realize the shtick extended to all cards played by everyone. It, it didn't, but then it just started to. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know more. What happened I'm trying those to cards when you played them? <laughs> well, the reason that my commander is ripped was because the, the first Pro Tour that I made top eight at was Pro Tour Chicago in 2000. And I had two copies of Rift. Right out of the Elysian Grove. Ooh, very nice. It's actually where the where the, the, the nickname that some people called me throughout much of my portrait era, the all Dragon right. Mask. There it is. Wow. So. Are you done? It's your turn. <laughs> I'm never going to be done. I yeah. Know, yeah. I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ask a stupid question. Uh, oh, Anything receive, could happen. Receive a stupid answer. Well, um, oh, oh, that's one option. Yeah, that could happen. <laughs> Draw a card. And top card. Nope. Let's see. Let's first plus one. Vivian, I'm gonna make a reach beast. We're gonna cast a Nissa Vast with Seer. It just looks so good. I Spider Man I, pointing. <laughs> go ahead and search for a basic forest. Yeah, basic get a base. I guess it's a mono green deck, so what am I gonna do? <laughs> okay, cool. And then let's see. What else? Let's attack a bit. Actually, I have quite a bit of Nykthos mana now that I think about it. We'll play the forest, get a clue. How much Nick those do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. Wow. Jeez. Uh, non zero amount. This is getting scary. Yeah, maybe you should become the problem. Become? Yeah, let's do it. Oh uh, my God. Eight mana, plus one, up to nine mana. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play a Chroma's Memorial. Oh, for the love of Christ. And I'm going to use the Galamra mana specifically for that, so I get to yeah. draw a free card. Oh, yes, hello. So technically, I have two mana floating. I'm going to use the floating mana to play Bloodthirsty Blade. Mm -hmm. Let's poke some people. That's bonus and goad, right? On a Bloodthirsty Yeah, plus two, okay. plus zero, and the creature is goaded, and I can, I can equip it to opponent's creatures only. Yes. Nobody can block anything I have now, because everything's got flying. Right. So we'll just spread out some damage. I'm not trying to take anybody out early, but I do want to hurt people a little bit. That's what we're here for. <laughs> we're so, here for pain. We're here for the pain. <laughs> Tell right. Brian you don't want to hear his stories. He'll be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're going for emotional damage. <laughs> Spencer, you seem to be doing less stuff right now, so hey, I can take it. I'm, hey, <laughs> I'm sure you'll do some good stuff, but for now we're good. So Spencer, I'm coming at you, coming at you for five. All right. Uh, Brian, we're going to come at you for another five. And Olivia, we're going to come at you for seven. 
fuck? <laughs> don't don't no, take don't take I'm, it personally. I am taking it personally. Feel free to take it personally. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, and then post combat, uh, let's go ahead and put the bloodthirsty blade on. Let's put it on the solemn simulacrum. So plus two plus zero and has to attack someone other than you. Yes. yes. Okay. Pass it. I wonder where it's gone. Right. Could be anywhere. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> I am being a problem, yeah. to be fair, yeah. Elspeth. I am just gonna play a Hydra Broodmaster and call it a turn. That's a good, I love that creature though. Yeah, yes. well that's the thing about this deck is it just has like all the cards I like the most. Yes. Yeah. They just happen to be There's blue, green, and red. There's nothing wrong with that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so. Here I am, probleming it up. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually can solve a lot of these problems. <laughs> it is, this is by no means an unsolvable board state, yeah. Did right. you solve any problems in, in your many pro tools? How dare you? <laughs> Well, you're, I will. I will hurting this card, okay. which was in the sideboard of my <laughs> Pro Tour Magic Origins deck, which okay. is oh, Tragic Arrogance. That's a beating. Which, by the way, is criminally underplayed. This card is absolutely yes. incredible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So for each player, I choose among them uh, one artifact, one creature, one enchantment, one planeswalker, and they sacrifice all other non-land permanents. Yeah. Hey, I like that. You can keep that. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine. It's, it's great for you. It's very magnanimous of you. This will be your creature and your enchantment. You're such a piece of shit. As one does, yeah. So, um... <laughs> don't, no, don't fucking smile at me when you do this bullshit. <laughs> I swear to God. He's solving me mostly. Yeah, I, I gotta answer no, this No, he's not, then he would leave me one other thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can keep this one. Don't fucking patronize me. <laughs> you can't, that's not both. That oh, is, is a legendary oh. creature. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're, so I have three artifacts. You're gonna keep a clue. Oh yeah, of oh, course. <laughs> I was trying to do the old Jedi mind trick on him, it didn't work. You're gonna oh, keep boy. a clue, yep. and I think you're gonna keep your commander. Okay, it's a shame. I wanted to flip a Nissa. So now there's no goat on this anymore. Yes. So these are gonna attack Vivian. These are gone. Hang on a sec, when Cavalier dies, I'm going to he exile to it. Oh. Yeah. And then you're gonna put something on top of the old yep. deck. Yep. The temptation is just Tyrell Tracker no. again, because he's such a good boy. You don't get to um, smile because he did something I solved, nice. I solved a lot of problems. You did. Yeah, I'll just get the Apex so Devastator. It's gonna. It's so sweet. Okay, and then you're killing Vivian? Yeah, yeah. and then attacking Vivian. Like a monster would? And then I will play this land. Which I put <laughs> Did you ruin people at Pro I, Tour's I, I brain? Played, <laughs> I, played, I played Temple Garden in a lot of decks. Yeah, good job solving me. That needed to be done. <laughs> right. I will force and play. Oh, you got a try to the Olympian Griffin. That's a great thing to have. Oh, this is so happy that's for actually, you. That's actually. Oh, this oh is yeah. Oh, sorry. Doesn't matter with dry it out. Yes. Yeah. I got the card. Sure. Like this Harvest Hand. That's probably pretty good in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just play out Ghost Shin Time. It's a good one. Doesn't matter, Brian's just gonna be like, mm, I'll get rid of that because it's a problem because he doesn't know how to threat assess. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you get 11 dark card. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll draw my big steps too. And let's take a turn. We're gonna start building up toward problem status again with a skew swarm. Ooh. And then a land, thespian stage. We'll make a Scoot Swarm token. I'm gonna use this cool looking insect as Scoot Swarm. They're all Scoot Swarms, because right. that's my sixth land, so. Okay. We'll just know that these are all Scoot yeah. Swarms. Then we're gonna cast Nissa's Pilgrimage. One, two, three. I do have Spell Mastery, so I'm gonna get three forests, put one into play. That'll make two more Scoot Swarms. Oh boy. And then, pass the turn. All right. I'm just gonna go with an island. At this point, I feel like I gotta put out a big Riku. <laughs> He lords. Big. <laughs> he's, he's big, yeah. And uh, at least there's a big problem over there. It's <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, you know, I don't know. Throw Ooh, down an oblivion stone. stone. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> just to really paint a target on my back. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's gonna be it for my turn. Right. Okay. I will untap. Oh. Riku's in play, right? Yeah, he's cool. Is. Just making sure I'm. <laughs> he's very in play. Arid Mesa, which will sure. flip Nissa. Ooh, love it. I will plus my Nissa, reveal the top card of my deck. So land goes into play, otherwise put in your hand. Fable Passage goes Doesn't into play. Whoa. That was in the green red deck I played. Oh the Eldrain Food Pro Tour. Sure. That's like the last, the last Pro Tour I played in. Okay. Because it was also yeah. the last thing that was called a Pro Tour. But. Yeah, that's true. They went to Mythic Championships and all that. I after. am. <laughs> Someone knows what they, I, I never mind. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I, I will play Tireless Tracker. Oh, I love him. Whoa. With two fetch lands in play, you monster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see what I had before I you know, played that, like committed specifically that. So we will. There is this Oblivion Stone, which is kind of bumming yes. me out. Yeah. 
right. it's, yeah, just lurking. It's, it's just lurking. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I Sometimes just wanted to, solve things. wanted to cast a pallor on the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that style. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, people I mean, are having too. You're much not. You're fun. not wrong to have this. Uh, people are casting spells. People. Good. People chuckling like idiots. Yeah. Do I pay Say no to that. six for Mary's Guile <laughs> or pay five for Mary's Guile back? Probably, well, that's great. Probably. I do love it. <laughs> I will. See if you guys will let me exist one more time. Marari's Wake. That's a good nice. one. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, Marari's Wake. <sighs> Stamping ground. Just keep doing it. Why stop yourself? I won't. Wilderness Wrath. Ooh. Oh, okay. that's pretty good. Th and this okay. is not sorcery speed only, right? On the no, it's just, yeah. it's just Wuber Ooh, tap. It is tap. Oh, it's so happening. You can't do it multiple times. Cool. I will move to Dunstep and untap my land. Okay. Let's. Drama card. Ooh, that's interesting. What do we have here? Looking at your permanence. Leave like a me jerk. alone. We're going to drop a forest, which is going to make. I will four remind you who arrogance your board away. Oh yeah, I know. It I'm, was not me. I'm, Brian's a bad man. That goes without saying. How can you say I'm a bad person when I've got just this cute little pup here, just patting them? <laughs> yeah, what villain has ever stroked a fly? <laughs> Okay, hang on. The man speaks truth. I'll get you next time, Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna cast a Druid of Purification. So everybody gets to decide what gets blowed up. Oh no. It's a naturalized effect, right? Yeah, everybody gets one naturalized on stuff that's not my stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna target the Oblivion Stone. So I think we go in turn order. So mm -hmm. you choose an artifact or enchantment that is not mine that you'd like to disrupt. Ugh, I gotta destroy the Marari's Wake. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's that or the simulacrum. And that wants to be destroyed. <laughs> it wants it. Fair. You can see it in its eyes. I'd rather you didn't, but I get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, since you're going to target it, I'm just going to kill myself, simulacrum. <laughs> so you can choose which of your things to kill. Oh, is that literally the only, <laughs> <laughs> the only target? Sorry. That's hilarious. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this worked out better than I could have imagined. <laughs> you don't have to choose, though. It's May. It's May. Oh, is it a May? Yeah. Oh, that's tragic. Get All right, I'll still kill my thing. Just, just. Oh, come on. I was expecting at least two It was funnier because I killed it my thing. Funnier, but yeah. Whatever, I did it. Okay, cool. So, Brian, I'm going to swing at Nissa with four Scoot Swarms that can attack him. I will block one with Tireless Tracker. Cool. So Nissa will go to one. With your block happening, I'm actually going to go ahead and crack Myriad Landscape. Mm. Load up, get two more forests, and make a crap ton more Scoot Swarms. Okay, so I'm up to 20 untapped ones, and this guy is dead. Okay, and that's the end of the turn. Oh, I'm glad that Akoma's memorial's gone. Olivia, it's an enchantment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you probably have all enchantments in the game in that deck. Why didn't you just leave Marari's way? <laughs> oh, you know why. it's scary. You know. I have two cards in hand. I can't cast instants or sorceries. Well, you can also just bring it back. Fair. <laughs> I might. But you know what? Whining is more fun, I think. <laughs> Easily more 100%. fun. 100%. Lean Much. into it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, I really, I don't know. You guys are going to hate me. I'd love to be invited back. <laughs> I, I, You're fine. I do whatever you're going to do. I'm being a problem. You should solve I, me. I got to play a... Cyclonic like Rift. Is that banned? No. No, okay. that's fine. No. Because I just... Eh. It was, it was yeah. a lot. No, you're it's right. A lot. And, good. and he got rid of the real one, so yeah. it's actually really genius. Yeah. I'm going to crack this clue in response Ooh, that to that was why I did it, because it was a clonic rip. Okay. okay. Um, but it solves the no two responses. cards in hand problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are objectively not wrong. Yeah. It really does Ooh, solve that it problem. It kind of helps. So before that happens... Yeah, you can put that back. That's exactly back. what I'm thinking. Which one do I want, though? Because I also really want that Mary's Guile. Being able to get exactly what I want off the top of my deck is helpful. And this makes it so much easier to replay your stuff, draw more cards, and then yeah. get back later, so... Um... Uh, goodbye, yeah, Scoot Swarm. You almost did the thing. Happen. Nice. And again, I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad yeah. you're good. good. Oh, no, I am, too. You want to punch anybody for... Two and or seven. Spencer, having yeah, you at the table has been you. a joy. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. It's, it's, yeah, I was, I was telling Brian. Being I had very explicit in saying <laughs> Spencer having you here is a joy. Yeah. It's <laughs> Hang on, wait a second. <laughs> there it is. There, yeah. The other shoe <laughs> dropped. <laughs> Thoroughly dropped at this point. Okay, right, you know That's going to be it for me. Yeah. Heck yeah. Good turn. Thank, Thank you. Untap. Tireless tracker. I will then play oh, no. Nissa. 
Uh, I will play that basic forest, which will get me a clue and flip Nissa. Yep. Uh, and then I will plus my Nissa to four. We will we reveal like, this. Every turn. Another land, which gives me a second yeah. clue. I am done. With your fetch lands still on craft. Yeah. Well, I was debating if I wanted to use them in response to just get the cards right away. Mm-hmm. But I was like, well, we're going to get the Tiles Tracker back and be able to replay it and have sure. the mana, so. Might as well get the bonus and draw a card off it. Fight this. May as well draw a bunch of cards while you're replaying the board. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the order in which I want to do it. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm excited. Yep, there it is. Is it a land? Thank God. Hey. Hey. Although it doesn't tap for green, it I guess. It does not tap for green. You could have left the green up, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just, yeah, just tap differently. Wait, this is four. There we go. Yes, there you yeah. go. Yeah. No. <laughs> and you're getting life twice now, right? Yes. Uh, I have one mana floating. I will play my second land for turn. Uh-huh. We're going off. Uh oh. We're not. It's happening. We are not. <laughs> you done? I think I am. You look pretty done. All right. Yes. Oh. Ooh, that's not bad. All right. We will drop a snow covered forest. And we're going to cast a gauntlet of power on green. Ooh. All green creatures, which is. All the creatures on the battlefield, actually, currently. <laughs> Very nice. Are all getting plus one, plus one. And all uh, basic lands, if you tap for green, they give you an extra. So mine all specifically basic give lands? Me three. So okay. because, yeah. I have all basic land types. Whoa. All my lands. <laughs> oh, that's pretty um, wild. Yes, yes, it is. I'm going to tap 10 mana. We're going to cast tap. the Great Hinge. <laughs> and so I got one floating because it costs nine. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll tap for two more. And we're going to cast my commander again for three mana. And I will okay, draw a card. get a counter. I'll gain two. Boink, boink. Boink, and yeah. draw a card. Sweet. Eldraine really did ruin a lot of things. <laughs> Eldraine is a don't, powerful set. Yeah. Don't, don't listen to that, Oka. No. <laughs> Whoever, You're not banned here, buddy. Whoever would have thought Oka would get used on opponents? Why would you do that? No. They it's, get a plus two a plus just and to, a plus one. Why not? Just to make yeah. your Do a token. treat token. Yeah. You know? Treat token. Mm, tasty. What a yeah, cute. Yeah, that's right. You're not banned in yeah. Commander. We know you're not that powerful. No, in just Commander, big, Oka's fine. Just yeah. big himbo energy, huh? <laughs> Uh-huh. Show that belly, get them pets. <laughs> so. Oko is showing belly on the card, I, uh, isn't he? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, why his name's, that's why his that's, name's Oko. I don't, okay, that's delightful. Because he just it. does the immediate. He just, he just flops <laughs> and just like, 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 belly rolls. Hey. Yeah. Hi. Ooh, pet me right here. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to play <laughs> Giant <laughs> Addison. Oh, that's bigger than, that's Let's big, go. That's bigger than your average Addison. Are, are we getting a copy of it? No, because no. I do need this mana to play and equip a swift boost. It be happening, y'all. And then I'm going to attack you for seven. Ouch. Trample. Why oh, me? I got, you solved me already. Well, because I... Oh, I guess I could get through it anyway. I don't know. I, I'm not going to take it back. I'll take that. <laughs> um, I was like, because you, I could get a copy of it, but it's like, that's, that's true. true, true, yeah, true. Yeah. Universally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fetch with these. No. Yeah. It's actually, I actually take eight because it's getting plus one, plus one from this gauntlet. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to be it for me. <laughs> OK, so those give me... Oh, my god. Boop. That's a big old. Oh, okay. Is that what he looks like. I'm yeah, sure. yeah. Big old. It's a big old ant, you know. Sure. End step. I'm cracking these. It took way too much from the fetch, and I'm going oh, to crack two pretty, clues. Pretty yeah. No one ever sees that coming. No, draw, two <laughs> actually, was, because was of, draw two cards. Oh, actually, because of because of the gauntlet, I can actually crack one more clue. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> God, stop it. So let's draw my actual card for the turn. We're going to start by plusing this. So, five. You would. We're going to reveal. It is a Daybreak Ranger. So, th- no. so Daybreak Ranger is a card that, like, I basically, when it was revealed, I was like, oh, this this card is, like, going to be awesome. It's yeah. going to be really powerful. Because it was at the time, that, like, Affinity was one of the po- yes. powerful decks. I was like, oh, you can kill, like, Ink Moth Nexus. You can kill Ornithopter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can do all this stuff just in the front side. And then the back side is just very powerful. Yeah, it into a 4-4 four, four fighter and or something. Yeah. the problem was that the decks that actually ended up being good in the metagame were, like, Primeval Titan decks, and it's like, yeah, yeah this card is embarrassing against yeah. those. It dropped for like twenty cents. Or and whatever, the funny yeah. thing is, for Pro Tour Honolulu, I, I like kept testing my like green red like mid range Daybreak Ranger deck, yeah, and I could never beat my team's Primeval Titan deck. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna win the Pro Tour, I'm gonna have to beat a teammate, so I'm gonna play the Primeval Titan deck. Sure. I played and beat Paulo in the finals to win the Pro Tour <laughs> in the mirror match. So I'm like, ah, this was this was like prognostication no. going. This on. Was, so you learn yeah. from that that betraying your friend. <laughs> <laughs> was the move. Yeah, basically. Yeah, cool, cool. 
Okay, I have a lot of options with so much mana. I was not anticipating having nearly this much mana to work with. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for sure. Ruined me with it, probably. Uh, let's just go ahead and crack another clue, because... Because <laughs> I'm addicted to it. Can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. play Dragon Lord Dramoka. Can't be countered. In Wild response. Life Opponents cannot play spells on my turn. You can use ability, you just can't Yeah, I know, spells. I know. Yep. I'm going to play Uvenwald Tracker. Oh, Fight Bear. Which was in my Green Black Predator use deck. Yep. Then I gotta play Polukronos World Eater. <laughs> Poly K. Yeah, so nice. we got we got green red monsters going on over here too. So Tyler's record is a seven six. All right, he's coming Chris's way. Oh come on! <laughs> you, you, you have exactly. a million mana. He's actually an eight seven. Oh yeah, he's eight, yeah. yeah. You, go, right. you have a million mana. I know, and, I know. And, and, I'll and, go to nineteen. And a uh, excellent hedge. That's true. It's pretty pretty good hedge. It's, it's, it's a it's a high quality yeah. hedge. Top tier hedge. Yeah. Yeah. I then have to discard. <laughs> I will I will discard. <laughs> okay. And it's your turn. I'm gonna discard Storm Breath Dragon. Forest yeah. for three. Tap retreat for red and have one red floating. Sure. Go Shintai. Go Shintai. I forget what a ton this deck, so I'm discarding Green Sun <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, a wise man acknowledges his own ignorance. He knows that he does not know. I don't know what's in here. Yeah. True wisdom is knowing I guess I could that you're actually a fool. Just, No, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Green Sun Zenith and go get Dryad Arbor. That I do know is in my deck, and I can do it with the mana I had left over. <laughs> Turn order doesn't matter. Yeah, topsy turvy. It doesn't. Here. I don't care. It's fine. Well, I realized I totally um, forgot to forgot to mention that I have a band card in my deck. <laughs> Game loss. Be more careful next time. Yeah, be more careful next time. Would you care to mention what it is? It's a primeval titan because it was in my oh, okay. primeval titan deck that I went well, sure. through with. But it doesn't do anything one, ridiculously one, powerful. One, two, three. It's just in the deck because, the of, days because of, it was in that deck. Heady days of primal primeval four. titan commander. It's like I primeval titan for like. Gavity Township and Keswick Wolf Rock. Those are pretty good. Though, <laughs> They're honestly. good. Yeah. I'll have one blue floating. Calculations. Senegos, God of Rebels. Oh, okay. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Is he alive? No, yeah. not quite. Although I suspect she'll get there. Too. I am right. able to She's get there. She's a million manas and is drawing cards with each spell. I am deciding if yep. I want to. I'll play a land for a turn, one of two. It is kind of wild, the, the gauntlet alongside uh, the Dryad allows you to just have so much more mana for all for basics. Yeah, the wording on yeah, the gauntlet being a little weird, weird is wording. interesting. Yeah. Five for the six, Karanos, God of Storms. Oh, I love Karanos. Okay, I like that you're going with the cool constellation-y ones too. Those are beautiful. All the other regular non-constellation gods are spread out amongst decks, mm -hmm. but I have a full set of the constellations <laughs> that wasn't, so yeah. like, oh. There they go, yeah. Okay. The all enchantment deck. Oh, enchantment. <laughs> you know. Ooh. Yeah, and all of your creatures, all the green ones are plus two, plus two also. Yeah. yeah. Wilderness back. There it is. Mm -hmm. Boy. Oh, God, this is really scary. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're in danger. Uh, oh, did I just hear YOLO? Yeah, one, That's two. That's bad. This YOLO is results. a forest. One, two, three. <laughs> Sigil of the Empty Throne. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. I will play a second land for turn. You only have, what, uh, Seven mana? Seven is my total potential here. Yes. So it's really just de deciding how I'm going to spend it. Um, one, two, three. I need to know that they're Hinterland Harbor is tapping for white. Heliod. I'll get an angel in a second. I will draw a card in game line. That's Wild. a lot of gods. Yeah. He's got a whole pantheon over here. Yeah. Wow. Are they all creatures currently, too? I think so. I don't think Karanos is. Oh. Yeah, not no clue, Red. Yeah, you're no. right. Yeah. So Heliod's on and Xenagos is on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to not have the mana, so I'll just put my Paradox Haze on. Uh, I, I knew it. Paradox Haze. All right. Chocolate oh, line. man. Not doing anything yet. But I don't have any. But it will. I have no upkeep triggers. Yeah. It's just a lovely card. It I don't really know. is. When I first saw it, I was like, man, now that's a card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's a, card. a magic card. It does card. some wild stuff. It yeah. really does. Yeah. Um, I will get two angels. And they're 5-5 five, five angels, which is... Well, what do we I think we're going to do about oh, this? Oh, yeah, because yeah. my creatures get yeah, the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. Yep. We have our big buffs your creature. And one can be 10 10. High five. Uh -huh. If you're so inclined. So you can set a 10 10 angel at someone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't give me ideas. I wouldn't worry about it. Because he's not going he to block Dramoka. He'll block a 5 for 10. I yeah. sure as hell will. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any reach, though, but I got two, I guess, 8 8. That's my thing. Yeah. Is like, I'm I'm hesitant to just decide to. Everybody's got vigilance. Why am I so worried? I'm going to send a 10 10 angel at Spencer. Okay. Okay. I will untap as okay. soon as I find this angel. Well, I get to untap at least. That's nice. Let's see what we got. Listen, I don't yeah. want to. What are we get anybody do? with the combat step? I want to do it with some sure. absolute. 
garbage. That is your style. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're gonna, I mean, I got this Apex Devastator back. Let's spin the wheel and see what I get, <laughs> right? Devastating. Yeah, let's go ahead and cast Cascade. an Apex Devastator. Right, let's do it. Cascade. And see what we hit. Oh, actually, first, it's when I cast a spell. So I'm gonna draw a card first. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have, that would've been a good Cascade. <laughs> cool. And we'll go into a Rishgar's Expertise. No. And a Kadama of the East Tree. Oh God. Oh, God. And a land, land. Fortunately, the Rishgar's Expertise. And a will, Titan will of Industry. Cast. And a World Breaker. Oh, that's pretty good. Boy. Six, six, seven, seven. I'll take it. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Oh, you love to see it. So the good news for the rest of the world is that the Rishkar's expertise does not, does not see the not Devastator. See the no. mm -hmm. but, but it got flipped first, so it's actually going to be cast yeah, the last, last of right. the, the yeah. other ones. So it will see a. It will see a, a seven, World Breaker. Seven. And you get Great Hedge oh. triggers on, on each of these. Yeah. Seven. Okay, but oh boy, so, I'm in danger. So this is getting cast. It's a cast trigger. So I'm going to exile target artifact, enchantment, or land. I would like to be very clear that I did not swing at you when I had ample opportunity. I, to do I so. understand that. I do need to pick you apart a bit. You understand that? I, I no, I don't. Okay, cool. Let's exile. It's got to be Marari's Wake. We're going to exile Marari's Real Wake. Real interesting. You have a lot of lands. You'll be I'm fine. just surprised that you're not doing it where well, I get an angel from every single enchantment I play, and the only cards I can play are enchantments. That is true. <laughs> okay, so this thing gets cast. Yeah, it hits the battlefield, gets a counter, and I'll draw a card. Oh, we're going big. Okay, then we're casting a Titan of Industry. It enters the battlefield. I'll get a counter on it. I'm going to make a 4-4, four, four, and we're going to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Now we will blow up Sigil of the Empty Throne. Okay. And then draw a card from the Pulse Muslim counter and Great Henge. Look. Okay, then we're dropping in a Kadama of the East Tree. Once again, counter, uh, and I will draw a card off of that. And then we'll finally cast Risker's Expertise, which sees an 8-8. Eight, eight. No, 9-9. Nine, nine. So I'll draw 9. Then I get to cast a 5. Pet the dog. Put the cards down. <laughs> get out myself. Yes, you can. There's a dog to pet. That's true. That's yeah. True. So I get to cast something uh, 5 mana or less for free. I'm going to cast a Spike Weaver. <sighs> oh, boy. It's fog. Yeah, it's a fog machine. And it is coming in with an extra plus and plus counter, up to 4 counters, and I will Draw a card off of Great Hinge. That's a oh, permanent in the battlefield off of a thing that's not Kodami these trees trigger. So we're gonna drop in an evolution sage for free. That's also gonna get a counter. Uh, okay. We are going, kids. And I'll draw another card. Well, Livy's popping up like what you need. It really depended on what I hit off of that I Apex Devastator. That, that was random. Hey, there there, there are several pop-offs that are occurring. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Right. We are oh, going okay. for it. Yeah, but I have a Pelucranos. What are you gonna do about that? Kill it. <laughs> I think that's, everything's off the stack. 20 cards in your hand. Yeah, it's really, really stupid. Do you have a no max hand size? No, I will be discarding okay. a lot at the end of the All turn. Right. Yeah. Or just casting a million more things. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna activate Nykthos. <laughs> oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Green mana. Uh huh. I will cast Nissa who shakes the world. <laughs> so you're forced to have for three. Five. Yeah. And yeah. you still have nine mana floating? Yes. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And He's I get to drop a free thing off of Kodama of the East he has Tree. has 25 available. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll, boy. As it stands. Yeah. And we'll drop in a Lithoform engine. <laughs> I'm gonna move this down to land area. This is real dumb, and I probably should be able to win off of this. Not this turn, because you got rid of my uh, Chromis Memorial. Memorial. Yeah. But we will make it hard to hurt me. So I'm gonna cast a Dawnblade Regent. So you're the monarch. Yes, so I'll become the monarch. What's and his other ability? Uh, uh, as, long, as long as I'm the monarch, all permanents I control him hexproof. Uh, <laughs> it'll come in with a Bolson Bolson counter. I will draw a card. And then I get to drop in something for free off of Kadama. We'll drop in a free uh, Thorn Mammoth. 6-6, six, six, which is now Eldrin. like a 9-9. Nine, nine. It's Eldrain. Comes in with a Bolson Bolson counter. I'll draw a card. Sorry about this just going this hard off. Are you? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so Evolution Siege means everything's going to evolve as I put lands out. Great. Last thing, we'll cast a Ugin the Ineffable. Ooh. A Eugene. Mm -hmm. And he comes in with four counters. Free trigger off of Kodama the East Tree. We will drop in a Elder Gargaroth. <laughs> <laughs> the Kodama plus Great Henge is, uh, just yeah. keeps yeah. fueling. There's yeah. so much mana too. Yeah, it's a little the stupid. Nykthos okay. and the, Hi, the gauntlet. Okay. So then we, I'm just going to play a land. Can you get that Cyclonic Rift back? <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the move, yeah. yeah. Land is going to trigger Evolution Sage and also Kodama the East Tree. So everything gets a counter. I will get to play another land, a Mothwart Bridge, off of it. So it's going to be the double trigger of Evolution Sage. 
We will put this under the Mossport Bridge and we will... Do we give him to deck himself? Like... <laughs> when the creature enters the battlefield, I'm gonna have Thorn Mammoth fight something. We're gonna fight... Xenagos. Clearly the play. It's basically Sithis or Dromoka. Ball tracker. The fight bear's pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah! Let's kill Sithis. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna use my Planeswalkers. We're gonna plus Nissa up to make this land into a 3-3. Three, three. Hey, Bubba. Should have done that previously so I could proliferate that that guy. And we will, let's destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. We're going to get rid of... Uven wall tracker. <laughs> you know, you're right. <laughs> you know what? Nah. Uh, <laughs> I considered it. Like, I'm seriously considering it for a second. But well, let's kill Hydra Broodmaster. Okay. Okay, I'm missing all kinds of triggers. I'm aware that I'm bad at magic, but it's a very complicated game and I have too many things going on. So this is the only thing that has haste, I believe. Almost all of this came in this turn. I yep. literally just had Galanra. So I'm actually Which not, is sort of wild to think not about. going to attack. Uh, I will go to my end step. I'm gonna draw an extra card and then discard a shit ton of cards. Boink. Okay, uh, carry on, your turn. And then there's all their proliferate stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything is too bigger except for this and yep. we'll... Okay. Figure that out when we come to it. Meanwhile, I very thoughtfully brought a deck that doesn't do very much. <laughs> what a, ge this, what a gentleman. on the thoughtful. You gotta, you yes. gotta, you gotta, the giant aphage, you know, it got, it got a hit in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It did, and it could have gone more until. There yeah. was, there's, they, there's just too much over there now. You know? There's yeah. too much, you're not wrong. It's a mess. Um, <laughs> it's just a mess. So I'm gonna cast Michael Loth. Big Mike. And oh, I love my life. Yes. I guess I'm gonna copy it, and when they come into play, well, the copy can eat the original. Yeah, that's that's the best way to do it, huh? Mm. And then I'll I'll eat one of these, and then the original Michaeloth, and uh, put that into play. So he's got four counters on him, and sweet boy. <laughs> Oh, that is so hard when you're old. Then I'm gonna marry a landscape, and that'll be it for me. All right. I will untap. Let's do it. Hey, sweet boy. Solve me. Hi. <laughs> I was gonna say. All right, you know what? That's a, that's a possibility that's for a that's dynamic. Fair. You know, we, we're learning that's something fair. about the relationship. I like that. That's, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. I assume we have Reach guys, right? Yes, we have World uh, Breaker, and Titan of Industry, and Kadama of the East Tree, and Fogs, and uh, Elder Darkroth. All of which okay. are very large. I will tick up Nissa. Do you want to come sit with me while village. your father it will come commits to play violence? And give me a clue. Yeah. Here you go. Here. Here you go. I'll go there. All right, I will play my land for the turn. Um, so we we'll get another clue. Hey, sweet boy. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to play a morph. I'm going to it's always flip up my morph, and it is Den Protector. What? No. I'm going to turn Tragic Arrogance to my hand. Hey. How dare you? <laughs> Comprehensively solved. We love to see it. <laughs> I don't love to see it. That's a lot. So. <laughs> it took so long to do all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Only to be undone in a moment. Yeah. Kind of what makes it good. All I have yeah. to say is leave me something so I can yeah, yeah, assist yeah, yeah, in the yeah, process yeah, yeah. here. No, well, you I, say yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and last time you left me with one thing. That's <laughs> fair. Oh, but God. don't you understand? I have hexproof. I'm, I'm protected. You do. Your stuff does have hexproof. That's why it is. <laughs> Tragic Arrogance yeah. Rage, you know, Ellie. undefeated. Um, so this is one, <laughs> two, three. Elspeth. Four. Your father's five. committing violence. It's okay. Um, <laughs> And she knows Heliod's out. Yeah. She can tell. Yeah. yeah. Screw that guy. <laughs> I will really play true. Tragic Arrogance. Hang on, let's see, let's see if I have any yeah. response. Feel free to respond. I don't think I do, honestly. I mean, I could I should probably fog. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, and prevent all combat damage this turn. With that response, I'm going to also sacrifice a clue. Sure. And then I'm also going to tap this for two green before your gauntlet is going to go sure. away. What? <laughs> Spoiler warning. <Yeah. laughs> I'll drop. This gets another counter. Okay, so I'm gonna choose uh -huh. for you. The only god I believe in is Xenagos. So you can choose. <laughs> All right, great, mon <laughs> great monsters, baby. Uh, I chose it for you. Make what? Easy. I don't even think there's which anything under. Which one? Do, wait, wait, wait. You know what? I think you're right. But I want, I want you to keep Xenagos. Done with them. <laughs> you want me to keep Xenagos? Yeah. Isn't he going to the yard? Xenagos is the only the only god among your gods that I believe in. That's fine, but I can just bring him back if you leave this here. Yeah, but I will promise to bring Xenagos back. Okay, fine. Okay. Thank you. You can keep, you can keep mm. the two you want to keep. Chris, you cannot keep what you want to keep. What? 
<laughs> but I had a good thing going, don't you understand? You can have a rhino. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, so that's my uh, creature. Which is my planeswalker? We got a Nissa and an Ugin. I think I can get rid of Ugin, Ugin for the love no, of I th- God. I think you can keep Ugin. Like, Nissa, Nissa gives him too much mana. It's, well, that's fair. This is giving. I already had too much mana. But yeah, yeah, but I, I think I think sure. I, I gotta figure out what your what your artifact is. Yeah. So we've got what? Let's have four mansions. It's definitely Rain not. Hinge. Yeah. I, 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 not think, I think your artifact has to be this. Yeah. Gaunt, the gauntlet. I think okay. gauntlet. And then oh. I guess I am gonna let you keep Ugin because Nissa Nissa sure. I think is too. Nissa also also could ultimate. Like, well, you could mm. you could kill Nissa. Okay. Theoretically. Uh, yeah, you can keep Ugin, and I'm getting rid, getting rid of Nissa. Okay. I am keeping Tireless Tracker Nissa, and these go away. Goodbye, Great Hinge. You did good work. What about me? I feel yeah, like I'm are, sitting well. Like yeah. no matter what happens, yeah. I'm digging it. I feel, like, I feel like this is pretty terrifying. Just giving giving you more stuff. Mm-hmm. You can keep your commander. I was hoping to lose him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I am going to play with the floating man I have. The sweet altered Elspeth. Ooh, original Elspeth. Wow. Yes. yes. OG wow. Elspeth. I love these much. I'm gonna go get Elspeth. Yeah, to, I was to gonna say we need. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I will make a soldier, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go get my assistant I just tagged in. And okay. You can go. <laughs> On your end step, only because I promised. Get back then, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's the price yeah. I have to pay. I have summoned Elspeth. That was <laughs> strategically <laughs> questionable. Hey, Elspeth. Hi, baby girl. I was gonna try and smash you with my tile tracker. We got the fog. I did. Mm-hmm. Had. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I know, I'm right here and I'm holding your brother, the travesty of it all. So the. Oh. You still have Gollum. I do. Yeah. Yeah, you, you still have a billion mana. See? Friend of the table. No. For, <laughs> Absolutely. You're not buying that? But not like, I, pro- it. I probably You're should, not, should, it should not have bought into Olivia keeping those. I but. fully agree with that. Yes. Steam <laughs> One green floating. <laughs> So one, yep. two, three. <laughs> Afara, God of the Polis. Oh, I love Afara. Nice. Wow. Everybody's playing such sweet cards. I love this. Yeah. Afara's great. Like the, the fact that you got an actual Adaphage token. I've seen Adaphages played so many times, well, I've never got a token. I've Adaphage in my gear deck, and I have not once actually created and it's, a token. And it's so sweet if you get the token. Yeah. It's, it's, it's especially if you can populate them. Mm-hmm. So, okay. No, all right. No, 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 no. That's enough. <laughs> I have a Breath of Fury in the deck, and if Ooh. that goes off, like you can just. It's like, keep making them. Yeah, destroy keep attacking. the whole. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Whoa. Yeah, so I, like didn't attack think, on I didn't think that all the way through when you first said it, but no. that's absurd. Yeah, yeah it's really um, it just kills the table more or less. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just get wild in Maelstrom Nexus. Ooh, Sweet. what's that one? one? Two, three, four. Whenever she casts a spell for the first time on a turn, cascade. she gets a cascade. Okay. On it. I have it to remember to cascade. play the big ones. Play the big ones first. Oh. And you can haste something I if you can, want. I can, and I will. I am the uh, the monarch currently. Yeah, you won't be. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Swing an angel at you. I, c- I could have not pointed that out, I suppose. But <laughs> Eight on an angel. Yep. And you're the monarch. Give. <laughs> like, he's just like, give. <laughs> ah, it's my end step. I can't do this. Pass turn. At the end of your turn, I'm actually going to pay three mana to yeah. sacrifice a land and bring a uh, world breaker back yeah. to my hand. Draw a card. We will start with Silverback Elder. Ooh, I do like me a Silverback Elder. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is a sweet card. He's a green creature. You play more creatures and you just break shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Brian sentence I've ever heard. I was going to say, nothing is more your style. It's a distra- distressingly Brian sentence yeah. right there. Yeah. We're actually going to activate Moss Warp Bridge. Actually, I think I will go six mana, so I have one green floating. We're going to cast a Vorinclex Monstrous Raider. Oh, <laughs> Yep. Yep. That's gonna trigger my Silverback Elder because I'm casting it. I'm actually gonna start by gaining four life because I'm kind of low. So now we will plus Ugin, which gives me plus two. Oh, I'm so sorry, I drew a card. Draw a card at the end of the turn. Yeah. Uh, no, or at the beginning of my upkeep or something. Yeah. Okay. Plus two, we're gonna make a Ugin Spirit. Yeah, the problem with solving a board like that when you've drawn a million cards is that it just comes back. Fast. Yeah. It comes okay. back. Okay, we're gonna play uh, Green Sleeves Mario Sorcerer. Oh yes, I want her so bad. Actually, She's so good. We're gonna go ahead and activate Nykthos to get that going. We're gonna cast her, trigger Silverback Elder. Let's blow up the Sigil again. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, gotta do it. We'll cast Druid of Purification again. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since we saw him. 
So we're all choosing to blow things up? What do we have? So there's boots, there's a clue. A clue. <laughs> can you crack the clue? No, I currently can't. Fuck you, no. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, clue. Oh, get, get him out of here. Um, so there's indestructible gods and two angels that are not legal targets. I think I'm actually gonna blow up the Goshen tie. And then Druid itself is actually gonna take out the clue because has your clue in particular, and I really like the idea of blowing it That's up. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. And then you get to blow up a uh, artifact or enchantment that I do not control. I guess I'm just gonna blow up the Dryad. You can also just not. It's May. Oh, then no, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. I yeah. Don't, yeah. I don't I'm not killing anything either. I'm not doing really? it either. Yeah, no. no. I don't need more not enemies. Even, not even Maelstrom Nexus? No, no. Okay. Listen, you sure. blew up my clue. You could have <laughs> blown up Maelstrom Nexus. And you chose my clue. I keep expecting people to get, go along and through it, but I, I keep forgetting I am why the problem. Would we, why would we help you? Yeah, that's fair. Exactly. And then I'm also going to cast Cultivate, because I don't have enough resources. What's happening? A lot. Four is going to play. Four is in my hand. That triggers green sleeves. I'll get a badger. Do you have the actual badger? I have the actual badger yes. tokens. Yes. You gotta get them. Badger, 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 badger. I only have two badger tokens, so we'll stop at badger, badger. Okay. Full stop. And then I will play forest to get another badger. Badger, badger. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, I will play a phallid for the mushroom. Mushroom, <laughs> mushroom. All right. Do I have a snake in the deck? I don't, don't know. Mean, but it checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that's a good meme. I don't care who you are. Nice job. Oh, sorry. Right there. I, 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 missed, I forgot about the trigger for, from Greensleeve. Sucks to suck, I guess. Okay. It is not optional, so I, I will know. blow up mail. Blow up something on your own board. Genius. <laughs> Genius. And then, colorless cards I play cost two less to cast. So I'm gonna tap this for two green. We're gonna play a transmogrifying wand for one, which comes in with six counters on it because I have a Voring Clex. Mm -hmm. Jeez. And yeah, and I've got one floating. We're gonna use transmogrifying wand. We're gonna destroy target creature and give somebody a two four ox. The flyers are what I am most worried about. So great, I'll keep my untapped I'm gonna destroy, one. And there's an ox. I'm gonna destroy your <laughs> untapped one and give you an ox. Look, look, that's a good I ox. Don't He's care. presenting his butt to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, Anatomy. you want to check out the ox tail special? Oh okay, all right, God. all right, that doesn't necessary. Okay, Spencer, we're gonna come at you for three with a vigilance uh, forest. How big is Tyler's trap? Eight, seven. Whoa. Right. Well, actually, with that, it's it's nine, eight. Yeah. Yeah, nine, eight. Oh, well, I can't punish him very effectively. It's a shame. Well, Spencer, it's, I guess we'll also hit you with a rhino warrior. So hit you for seven unless you want to. And those block. get plus one. Oh, you're right. Sorry. So, well, this one doesn't, but this one does. So a five, five, and a three, three coming at you. So yeah, I'll just take that. That's fine. Pass the turn. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh a creature entered the battlefield under my control. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna evoke Mold Drifter, which is casting it. Yes. yes. So I think I can still and get copy it, right? So yeah, and then I'm gonna draw four cards. Yeah. Oof. I love it. Power. So you can get a permanent one from that that is the copy. Yeah. Okay. And then I might be dead. <laughs> Fingers yeah. crossed. If, if, if you, yeah. you you could boots up your, your thing, hit him for two, and then I can get him with Tyler. Well, I honestly think the two of you can just kill me. Just fine. Also true. Yeah. yeah. With an with an angel that's an eight eight and a flying the ox at you. I want people to like me. I so I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna attack you. I want people to like me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a two-two mold drifter coming at me? Yeah. I will take two damage. And you know what? I like that two damage. <laughs> That's it for me. Yeah. All right, I will untap. Now, counterpoint, you could not kill him. <laughs> uh -huh. No, that's a terrible counterpoint. Play a land, oh. get a clue, what sacrifice you, my you clue. Are still watching. Yeah. Draw. Like, I, I need to do this before I kill Chris. So. Wow. <laughs> you're gonna, you're I, using I need me. the mana. You're using me. I see how it is. I'm going to overload Mizium Mortars. <laughs> so deal four damage to each creature I don't control. Indestructible. Thank you to that gauntlet. Well, he's gonna die, so that 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 will die. But <laughs> I can't. How am I supposed to attack him with his ox? And then I will play Huntmaster of the Fells. I will get a wolf. I will also play the Scavenging Ooze. I'm gonna eat one of Chris's creatures in his graveyard before it's not there. But which? <laughs> okay, fine. Let's get <laughs> let's, let's get life. Apex Devastator just for value. I will plus my Nissa. Ooh. Boom. We get a clue, <laughs> and then Sorry. no, don't. No, I'm gonna yeah, launch Tireless Tracker at you for thirteen. I'd only be mad if you were oh, exactly thirteen. Shuffling. Exactly thirteen. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the first thing I did this game was basically get a Tireless Tracker and say he's my favorite. Yeah, boy. yes, and he got you. So be killed by my favorite boy. I can sleep comfortably. You still have an ox, and then it's your turn. Oh, thanks. You are still the monarch too. Yes, I am. But I gained the two life from the the wolf coming to play. Yeah. What's your blocker situation here, my love? Uh, I have a one-one soldier. Cut master of the fells. 
a wolf and a f- currently 3-3, three, three, but can become up to 5-5 five, five scavenging news. I will kick off the festivities with Sterling Grove. Mm-hmm. All the enchantments have Shroud. I'm gonna go <laughs> Uh I'm Good. an idiot. I should have had a shrine all this time, but I didn't, so cool story. Ha. Fix our tapping. Yes. Again, you have the realm. Oh, Ooh. nice. Ooh, on, on, on one chance land. You don't currently have mana to activate it, right? Yeah, I don't have mana okay. to activate it. It's only two to activate, but yes. still. So yeah. making an 8 12 sprit with trample. So yes. Turn. He's like right. vomiting a rainbow or something. Yeah, he's doing something wild. <laughs> yeah. He's had a night. Too, okay. what did you too eat? many yeah. Skittles. Yeah. I will too many Skittles. <laughs> make Afara a 12 10 and swing at you because is I can't. Is she active? No, she's not. One, two, three. Oh, yes, she is. One, oh, yeah, oh no, five. no that's not, she's, 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 she's seven, five. she needs seven. seven. Yeah, she needs seven. Boo! Well, I guess you're getting this lusty ox for four <laughs> things. My use can also get up to five, so it can, oh, blo- it can block even the lusty ox. <laughs> even the lusty <laughs> I hate myself for saying it, but I'm committing. <laughs> I'm committing to the bet. I could give it to Goshintai. You could. But then I have to hit Spencer, and... That's fine, I deserve it. <laughs> you know, I don't remember you doing anything particularly upsetting. No one's yet learned of my crimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you're scary too. It's and true. Then, so I am is, scary. What, you pay into ooze and Yeah, ooze? I can okay. exile creatures from a graveyard. Word, okay. Yeah, I'll get six in it, Spencer. And I will draw on my end step yeah. and on your upkeep. Okay, All right, so that's my it. first shrine. Second to last turn of the game. Graveyards. Uh, this many. I'm gonna play a Raging Ravine. No, those are all enchantments. I don't they, know what you're talking about. They're creatures with their graveyard. <laughs> Lord Riku is back. Play a Pan Harmonica. Ooh. Ooh. There's at least the, a lot of scary stuff that can happen. That's the thing. Yes. Yeah. So, 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 top but it might not. How many things are there actually creatures right now? One. One. Two. I will just go ahead and crack my clue and draw a card. Okay. So this grows. Yeah, there you go. Cool. It's legend grows. Sacrifice <laughs> horizon canopy. Oh shit! I, I, I didn't. I said I wasn't gonna name. Ah! Oh. Okay. What noise did he just make? Do we a need to talk one. about it. It's a happy one. Yeah. Okay. I am go- I'm me. going to play Domer Red. Ooh. Nice. I am going to Armadillo Cloak Tireless Yes. Tracker. Tell us the story. <laughs> so. Armadillo Cloak was in my deck with Rith the Awakener. That's how we ended up getting to the the uh, yes. truly legendary cloaked Rith that uh, I yes. won both you know match in the Swiss against uh, John Finkel and my top eight match against V. Moshewitz with, which is pretty glorious. We're back in the wow. 90s, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to have the Tireless Tracker, who is now what, 12? <laughs> Lord. I'm going to I love him. jump him with Elspeth. So he is now 15 power. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's going to fight <laughs> your ox. He wants some of that ox. <laughs> 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 who, who could blame him? So I gain 15 life. So let, let them just hang out Enjoy a little bit. Enjoy the sultry ox. Yeah. There's a joke to be made, and we're I'm avoid- not making yeah. it. I'm going to add it's not a six donkey token, green. Okay. <laughs> Scavenging no, Ooze right. is going to eat six things. I gain six more life. I'm going to Ultimate Nissa to untap six lands. They become six, six creatures. Ooh, Whoa. okay. Look at this boy doing things. I have a shrine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this good 1-1 one, one creature just trying to hold the line. He's literally doing, He's doing his best, best. He can. Yeah. Okay. So that's 24 power in, in lands? In lands. Yeah. Um, and 15 power on the 25. Track. Don't, don't count him out. It's true. It's true. I have no idea if it was correct to actually launch the tracker, but I wanted to. Listen, also, it can't be chumped. 25 plus 15 is exactly 40, I'll just say, but then there's a shrine to block I have one, one of shrine. Them. Yeah. I have a shrine. So, yeah, this is 15, and we will send five of them. That ends up being these four get blocked. So, we actually need to send one more thing. You can. I think you can kill Olivia here, yeah. In so, response to attacks, I'm going to tap and sacrifice the Sterling Grove and okay. find a card I think you do need to send the library. ooze though too. So this is this is 15. This is, assuming one of these are blocked, this is I'm 19. I'm going to put Ghostly Prison okay, on yeah, top we, we do of my deck. Yeah, okay, you need one more attacking creature. Yeah, okay, so, so, then she so this gets blocked the and then, then there's That's exactly 19. 40, I think. And then the rest are attacking Spencer. Instead of attacking, what if you just take a nice... <laughs> Shoes. Here, Scooz can have a shrine. Oh, you, you, can, you, can, you can trade with Dryad Arbor. <laughs> so I can That's block the value. four. And so can, yeah, this, this is six, and then you'd still oh, take I can 11. Oh, six. Okay, so yeah. This is a very Kibler <laughs> win, I gotta say. <laughs> I, I can 
Okay, or with Tillow Cloak, my tireless <laughs> okay. tracker. Fight with Tory Raid and launch it with Elspeth. Uh, that awesome. At least I did an Armageddon. Yes. <laughs> that is actively correct. At least yeah. I did Are you an having your hand Wait, yes. that monster? <laughs> What's the story with the Armageddon? Uh, well, so Armageddon was also in my Portrait of Chicago deck. It was one of the key cards in that deck. And mm -hmm. also I cast it once against Olivia and Did got not her, have anything to do afterward. Bad. I was playing a lands deck, he cast Armageddon and passed the turn. Yeah, like the worst person in the world. The worst person. Literally no follow-up. Yeah. Just, okay, well, all lands are destroyed, pass. And I'm like, you. Well, that, game, that game I was yeah. hoping to, to draw a relationship. Like, I mean, over. I cast my banned card and then cast my card everyone hates. And how did all that work out? All in the same out? turn. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> Well, I didn't do it, Mr. One. You did neither, so. and we're convinced I was not going to go back with you that night. I mean, he's like, I think I maybe going home. I was like, that's a pretty reasonable thing. Yeah, to that's right correct. Uh, I had a blast in this game. I hope you guys did too. Yes, we had a great uh, time. Any uh, any parting words? Uh, sure. Yeah, um, I, I I do a show called Harmon Quest. You can watch me and some famous people. Uh, who do we get? We got Aubrey Plaza, Tom Kenny, just nice. you know, yeah. classic famous. <laughs> <laughs> classic famous. <laughs> I've never heard that term. They have been called That's their favorite thing. That's their favorite. <laughs> well, I'm convinced. Yeah, yeah. we played so D&D. It got animated. It's a fun show. If yes. you've ever, if you like D&D, &D, if you, if you're D&D &D curious, I think it's a really great thing. We wanted to teach it, uh, teach <laughs> you. Ox <that>. curious. Yeah, <laughs> no. we're, we're all a little ox curious. <laughs> Just check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's on uh, Google. You could watch it for free. I'm, I'm told. I'm told you should yes. just Google it and find it. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. Just on the internet. Yeah. It's amazing. The Chris has nothing technology. to say. Don't listen to him. And Chris, I'm I'm not playing anything in particular. I'm not a famo after all. <laughs> <laughs> so, if the work is the sort of thing you're interested in, uh, check, check it out. Check it out. Not any in particular necessarily, but it's, it's worth giving a shot if you're if you want to take your nerdetry to the next level. And um, don't we all? <laughs> well, maybe not necessarily. My soul hurts. <laughs> yeah, as well it should. As well it should. Anyway, this is a blast. Thank you guys so much. Yes. And yeah, thanks, thanks so much. to all of you at home for watching. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us, having a good time, and we look forward to seeing you all again next time. <laughs>